I looked very different from most of the people I grew up with, went to school with. Uh, my name, uh, first, middle, and last name stood out as being very unusual and uncommon. And I ended up uh, being the uh, victim of a lot of bullying, a lot of uh, harassment, being picked on, singled out for being different in some way. Being bullied is kind of uh, the environmental factor that kind of triggered the whole thing into action. And around the time I was 16, I developed uh, full-blown obsessive compulsive disorder. So many of my obsessive fears were about the safety and well-being of my family. It's irrational because the fear of something happening to your family is, is you know, a natural fear, but the way it would come about would be in very irrational, completely illogical ways. With OCD, you're painfully aware of how irrational it is. But at the same time, you still feel utterly compelled to perform the ritual and the compulsive behavior and retake that step. And in that sense, you get stuck literally and figuratively in that ritual for hours and hours and you can't function. I hid from people what was really going on. Um, my senior year of high school, it was full-blown, uh, very, very severe OCD, but I was able to uh, pass it off as being just depression. And it eventually got to a point where um, I, I literally couldn't do anything. Um, I was uh, ritualizing and having these thoughts and ritualizing almost literally 24 hours a day. And at that low point, hitting rock bottom, I ended up uh, coming to Rogers in a residential OCD treatment program. And uh, the program was uh, very intense. In that sense, it was a relief to, to be around people that got it, you know. And every little thing you were doing, they, they understood what you were doing. I started writing about this and it took me about, about a decade to put everything together and uh, get my book published, uh, A Life Interrupted, the story of my battle with bullying and obsessive compulsive disorder, and get it out there and be able now to go talk to uh, groups, talk to kids, talk to schools, talk about bullying, the impact that bullying can have on mental illness. Life can get better. There is life outside of this, you know as awful a place as you can be in, and no matter how long you end up being in that place, there is a way out.